What's up guys, we are back today for another live in the RU tier and I gotta record this really fast because people are blowing, at me, <laughs> blowing me up on uh, on Skype right now. They really wanna record. We're gonna be doing, uh, you guys are in store for a really awesome series. It's probably gonna come out on Friday, hopefully if everything goes according to plan, but uh, you guys are gonna have to just wait for that. So we got an RU live today and I grabbed a team right off of the forums. You guys can check it out right here. Uh, courtesy of RU Dark Dreamer Luna. So, uh, really cool team. Uh, I liked it. First one I saw, actually. Uh, and it's uh, Psychic Magic Coat, Dazzling Gleam, and Stealth Rock Mesprit. So, it's their Stealth Rocker, but it's also pretty bulky. It take hits. It can, uh, can dish them back as well. Got a CB Agron, uh, Standard Golbat, which I've never used before, actually. Uh, Scrafty, uh, Shed Skin. Uh, let me actually do this over here. Uh, so Shedskin Scrafty with uh, Taunt for some reason. Uh, Mega Glalie here with Explosion. We've used Mega Glalie before, and we've also got a Scarf Mag Mortar, so I'm curious to see how this team's going to work out. Let's just uh, hop right into it. We'll try to get a battle real quick, and I'll pause it until we do get one. All right, guys, we got one, and uh, this guy's got a team that absolutely gets demolished by Specs Mag Mortar. Uh, it's not Specs, excuse me, Scarf Mag Mortar after the Jellison is gone, so that's going to be my objective the whole game is to gonna try, try to get rid of the Jellicent, basically. So... I'm really tempted to just lead Agron here and fire off a head smash, but uh, the Glalie is too uh, too threatening of a lead. So what I'm actually going to do is just lead Mesprit. It's my so most solid all-around lead as he leads with Uxi. Pretty cool. Uh, I should be slower than his Uxi, so I'm not going to try to uh, not going to try to uh, do anything funny with Magic Coat right here. Uh, actually, hold on. Isn't Magic Coat a wait? Why was I disconnected? Hold on a second. I uh, don't know what's going on here. So let's just wait for this to come back up. We should still be in the game. For some reason, we disconnected there. Uh, could not connect the server. All right, well, we're going to have to try this a little bit later, guys. Be right back. All right, guys, we got another game. I don't know what happened there. Uh, it just, like, the server lagged out for, like, a minute or so, and then it came back online. So we'll just uh, forget about that game. Uh, this guy doesn't have as much of a team that's weak to Mag Mortar, so that's kind of very sad. But uh, we'll just lead with Mesprit here, as usual. He leads with Flygon. Is Magicoat plus priority? Yeah, it is. Okay. So let's actually go for uh, the Magicoat right here and really hope he doesn't go for a U-turn. <laughs> that would suck, but we'll see what he wants to do. Uh, I'm really expecting this to be a Stealth Rocker as he does not have another one. So he does choose to just go for the U-turn, so it could be Scarfed. Uh, we'll see in the future, I guess. Uh, we won't know from that damage, I don't think. Frisk's my Colber Berry, so... Nothing much I can do here. Uh, he's more than likely faster than me as well, so what I'll do is I'll just switch into Scrafty on this thing. And uh, since we are Shedskin, we don't uh, need to worry too much about getting... Uh, uh, we got our leftovers knocked off, but we don't need to worry too much about getting uh, burned right here. So I can just fire off a knockoff right now. Nothing on his team really wants to take it. Uh, not the Typhlosion. Nope, nothing really. So we should be able to do some very good damage to this... Uh, to this Bennett. It's not boosted because its item doesn't get knocked off, but are we max Spadef? This is really cool. <laughs> this is pretty, uh, pretty weird team. He actually misses the Willow, so very unfortunate for him. We're going to be able to get off the knockoff right there. And uh, we'll go for another one right here. As uh, hopefully Shedskin will kick in on the following turn. As it does not. Oh, yeah, it does. All right, cool. Awesome. I, was, uh, I expected the animation to come up a little bit earlier. I'm going to go for Taunt right here. He goes for Gunk Shot. Whoa, okay, that did a lot more than expected. Um, I might want to switch out on that. I'm going to go into Golbat right here, I think. Yeah, let's go Golbat. And uh, his Gunk Shot won't do anything to me. That's a crit, so obviously nothing. And uh, now we can just go for Brave Bird right here. As he's going to switch out into his Electivire. Good play. Uh, this thing doesn't get static, right? Hopefully not. <laughs> um, no, it doesn't. Okay, cool. So... <clears throat> On this thing, I know this thing is going to go for an electric move. It's pretty fast, actually. Let's go Scrafty. Let's hope he's a special attacker. He goes for Volt Switch. Awesome. So we're able to take that. He's Life Orb, as we see there. Start the timer on this guy. Not a huge fan of this team, but we'll try to make it work. Um, Glalie can definitely put in a lot of work endgame with Ice Shard. Just got to weaken the Typhlosion a little bit. His Swallow comes in, gets a Toxic Boost. Uh, so obviously this thing is going to be a physical attacker. Um, we can switch an Agron pretty comfortably on it, I think. We quad resist, so shouldn't be a shouldn't be an issue right here. Goes for Aerial Ace, does five, so <laughs> really not a really not a big deal. Um, I'm just gonna go for the Head Smash, I think, right here. Head Smash is fine. He's gonna go for the U-turn, another move that does absolutely nothing to me. He can go into his Flygon, but it's not gonna take this very well. 
Uh, as we can see, that does 74%, guys. And we don't take any damage thanks to Rockhead. That's why I love this. I love Tyrantrum too, man. I'm so psyched to use it. Uh, he goes into his Flygon. I fully expect him to just fire off an EQ right here. Uh, I'm just going to switch into Golbat, and now we're about to test out to see if he's Scarfed or not. Uh, here, he would probably go back into the Electivire. So what I'll do is go into our Magmortar. Uh, because if he is Scarfed, he's not going to stay in. If he's not Scarfed, he's going to go for a U-turn. And uh, then we can just fire off whatever move afterwards. He is going to go into Evire, and we're going to get our Magmortar in for free. Now, he does have a Flash Fire Pokemon in Typhlosion, so I kind of just have to fire off a Focus Blast right here. And uh, we're going to damage this thing to the point where it will get uh, knocked out by its own Life Orb. We do get taken out by a Wild Charge, but that's fine because we're able to get rid of the Evire, the biggest threat to our Gold Bat right there. So that's kind of fun. And now we can just go, I think, back into Aggron is fine. Yeah, let's go back into Aggron. And uh, again, nothing really wants to deal with Aggron, so he goes into his Bonnet, so good play, he's going to try to burn us. Uh, I'm just going to go into my Scrafty right here, switch out on his, uh, I like the nickname, Krona, very nice. Uh, we're not going to get the Shed shell, uh, the shed, uh, shed Skin that turn, excuse me. Um, we're going to try to go for a rest, see if he can miss a Gunk Shot, that would be awesome. If we can get this thing back up to full, that would be crazy. He goes for a Shadow Sneak, so good play on his part. And uh, now I'm kind of forced into Glalie. I think. Uh, we don't have Ice Shard though, so that's not a great play. Um, let's see. Well, he doesn't really have a good Brave Bird switch in anymore, especially with his weakened Flygon, so that's just what I'm gonna go for. If he wants to burn me, that's fine. He chooses to let his Bennett go down. I pretty much knew at that point that it didn't have Destiny Bond, because it showed, I think it showed it, its full moveset. Will-O-Wisp, Gunshot, Shadow Sneak. What was the other one? Uh, not sure, but anyway. Uh, this thing decides to come in. This cannot take me out. I'm going to roost. I think even if it's Choice Bandit, it can't take me out. Look at that defense. Look at that defense. 393. I might get this thing in the UPA. might make a uh, transaction with Electros. I have to think about it, though. Uh, it's definitely a very solid defogger. I would need something like that. He goes for Fake Out. Does uh, 20%, so a return would do about... Ooh, wait a minute. Um, that's not very reassuring. I'm going to go for Roost anyway. He's gonna go for a last resort. Okay, so that's definitely gonna take us out, which means he has no more move to go for, though. So I'm pretty safe to go into Agron and just uh, fire off another head smash right here. Hopefully it lands. It will be able to take out the Flygon, as we saw before, it did 70. So I just need to keep Agron alive, and it should be good to go. Glalie uh, can sweep up the rest of the game as well. Just need. Uh... Okay, so he goes directly into his Flygon. We do land the head smash, thankfully. And uh, we are able to get rid of that thing. Now his Typhlosion can come in for free. Um, how much does Typhlosion actually do to us, though? It's a neutral hit. It's a neutral hit, but if it's coming off of specs, it's going to do a lot of damage. So I have to make a decision right here. Do I just go for the Head Smash? Or do I... Let's see. Um, we can protect on his Fake Out, which is nice. I definitely need to keep Glalie alive um i think i need to run a, a calc right here i've uh, i've never been faced with this calc before agron versus typhlosion so we'll know it for the uh for the nba because we do have a typhlosion on our team so let's see um all right so typhlosion i hesitated there because i'm not sure if my uh if my video has gone up by now for the uh, review for the draft review so I don't know if you guys even know what I'm talking about as far as my team. So now you know two of my Pokemon, Tyrantrum and Typhlosion. So two T's, two ties. Um, let's see, Agron. Agron, are you choice banned? Do you take an eruption? Not at all. Wow. We're dead to that. Um, what's this thing? Speed, 328. Yeah, I have to switch in Mesprit here. And then basically what I have to do, guys, is I have to sack this off. I have to go into Glalie. I have to protect on his next eruption, and I have to really hope that an Earthquake is enough to take this thing out from Mega Glalie, and I don't think it is. We might have to crit it. Uh, are you Wall Breaker? Earthquake, where's Earthquake? Earthquake does 84 to 103, uh, 100. Okay, so we do have a chance on a max roll, or if he's running like negative special, uh, negative defense nature for some reason. Um, so let's, let's try to knock this thing out, as he actually wins the speed tie and is able to knock us out. So that's going to be the end of that, and that's going to be a loss for this team. So we're going to try to make it work, though. We're gonna, <laughs> it's, it's not the most solid team, I can tell you that right now. Uh, this is what I get for using teams off of the forums, but uh, 
no no offense to the guy that made the team um i'm sure uh, he'll get better at team building as, as time goes on i don't know how long he's been doing it but it's uh it's a pretty interesting scrafty set when i saw it uh taunt yes of course um so this guy's got a uh pretty pretty cool team i like this let's uh let's lead off with scrafty here i think it has a pretty good matchup against most of his team uh including this we are able to just go for the knockoff right here if he wants to go for a screen or something. We are faster than his Meowstic, so that's nice. He goes for the Trick Room, that's why we were faster. And um, I guess he's Neg Speed. Uh, no, hold on. Trick Room is negative priority, but we are still slower than his uh, his Meowstic, so we'll be able to knock it out with a knockoff here if he chooses to stay in. He does not. He chooses to go into Aurorus instead and loses a Salt Vest. And now, what can this thing really do to me? Let me go for a Drain Punch. Should be able to knock it out. How low am I on the ladder? Hold on a second. Um, rank. You guys get to see all my points right here. OU's not been going too well, as you can see by my win-loss. Uh, where are we in RU? Okay, we're pretty... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, where is it? 0-1. Oh so that was our only battle? No, that's impossible. That's weird. Anyway. Uh, start the timer on this guy, and uh, we were able to take out the Aurorus. He went for a Hyper Voice, did 35. We went for Drain Punch, and we got our, all our health back, so... This thing doesn't threaten me at all. I'm just gonna go for a knockoff here as well. Goes for the Earthquake, does a lot, but knockoff... Ooh, it took that rather well, actually. It doesn't have an item. Alright then. Golbat! <laughs> Come on in! Uh, he goes for another Earthquake, that's not gonna do anything. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Taunt right here in case he wants to bring in the Steelix. He won't be able to go for Rocks. Which is the reason I'm doing that. As he actually chooses to go into Ampharos, which is also a good play. Uh, very nice. We force him to attack us this turn. So, what we can do is... Are we slower than an Ampharos? No, I wouldn't think so. Ooh, so we're gonna have to switch out, aren't we? Alright. Uh, we'll go into Mesper here. Should be able to eat up any hit that he goes for. Thunderbolt, that does a lot, actually. Um, I'm gonna be able to get up rocks here, though, which is very crucial for that Flareon. He's gonna go for the Thunderbolt, and we're gonna... We okay, well, there goes that. Uh, <laughs> we just slowed down. And uh, now I'm going to go for a Psychic. He's probably just going to go for another Thunderbolt or a Volt Switch. Very good. So we get initiative here, which is great. And, uh, wow, Magmortar's looking good right now. Um, Flareon comes in. It doesn't have its boost yet. And I can go into Glalie. And we outspeed this on turn one. So we can just Mega Evolve and go for an Earthquake. As bye-bye Flareon. Okay. All right, so there goes that, and uh, with Rocks up, his Meow Stick is coming in at three. His Ampharos is coming in very low, so he chooses to forfeit, and we're gonna move on to game three right now. And we might be able to keep this down to three, uh, three battles. I need to get a win though. <laughs> so uh, let's see. All right, this guy's got another Mega Banette, which is the bane of our existence. He's also got a Rhyperior, which is extremely hard for Magmortar to deal with outside of HP Grass. But the fact that it gets locked into a move, and I always want to go for a Fire move, is a little annoying. We do outspeed the Jolteon, though, which is very nice. I think what I'm going to do is uh, lead with Aggron and try to get a kill right off the bat. Try to hit something, because his entire team is grounded, so we'll be able to go for... Actually, do we even have Earthquake? I don't know if we do. Uh, no, we don't. Okay. Well, I think a Head Smash, even after being burned, still takes this thing out, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to go for it. It might do, like, 89 min, but we'll see. He actually chooses to switch out on me, so good play, I guess, because we missed. Um, <laughs> let's see, what do we go into on this? Uh, we can go into Mag Mortar. I don't really want him going for a superpower on me, though. I'm going to go into Golbat and uh, see what he goes for. He goes for Heat Crash. Guys, I don't even know what that move is. <laughs> what is this? Hold on. Um, give me M. <laughs> what is this move? Heat crash. More power the heavier the user than the target. Well, I guess Golbat's not very light. Let's go for Brave Bird. As uh, his Jolteon comes in, very nice. Good play. Takes 30. Awesome. And uh, it's Quick Feet. Alrighty then. Let <laughs> Let's go for a Roost. I'm pretty sure we can take a Volt Switch. Yep. And uh, we'll just roost off all the damage. He should go into his Rhyperior here, not wanting to take any extra damage on any anything else. We'll see what his play is, though. And we'll be able to roost off the damage and follow it up with, uh, with pretty much whatever after that. Really like, uh, what do I like in this matchup? Well, now that I know his Embor's got Heat Crash over Flare Blitz, uh, 
I kind of like everything this match. Let's go into... Do we stay in here? He, uh, he's, he could have Rock Blast. Uh, I'm going to go Nagron. I know this thing gets Aqua Tail, I think. Uh, he goes for the U-turn. Nice play. Very good. Very good play. Like that. Goes in Ambor. Nice. Um, he's got... Maybe he's luring me into a false sense of security and he actually does have Flare Blitz and he's about to destroy my life. But actually, if he's physical, he can't take us out. Let's go for that smash. And we're actually faster than his Embor, so goodbye, Embor. There goes that. Should have known that from turn one, but anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's move on. This is going to be a very short live, guys. I can tell you that much. If you guys want to use this team and uh, potentially make it better, let me know. Let me know what you're going to do to it. Um, the million things you can do to it. Let's go into Scrafty on this thing. I'm pretty comfortable going into Scrafty. He goes for an Earthquake. That's fine. We're faster. We should be. Are we faster? Please tell me we're faster. Yeah, we should be faster than this thing. I'm just going to go for a Drain Punch. He's going to go for Protect for no reason. There we go. And uh, we're just going to go for another Drain. He can go into his Banette if he wants. He's just giving me Leftovers Recovery at that point. So that does absolutely nothing. And he's Rocky Helmet. He goes for the Stealth Rock. So I kind of wish I had taunted there. And uh, we're just going to go for another Drain. It doesn't really matter. This is a really uh, interesting... Okay, I don't understand why he keeps prote protecting. He's just, just giving me leftovers recovery. <laughs> I, lo I love this part of the ladder, man, because people just do whatever they want. Is uh, Okay, well, that was a good switch, I have to agree. And it's another Rocky Helmet user! Woo! All right. So, Golbat pretty much walls this thing in most scenarios. Uh, I'm tempted to just go into it here. I should be able to take any one hit. As he goes for a play rough, and we take that extremely well. And I'm just going to go for another roost here. Again, should be faster than this thing. It's Yeah, it's it's pitifully slow. No wonder nobody likes using this. I mean, it's a good fairy. It's cool and all, but... Okay, so this guy has Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Protect. Does he even have a rock move? Like, I'm going to go for Defog right here. Because even if he does have a rock move, he seems to be very, very defensive. So, I don't think it'd be able to knock us out. I'm pretty comfortable just going for a defog here and getting rid of his rocks. And then potentially switching into Agron after and firing off an EQ. That's not a bad play. Again, we don't have EQ, so we're not going to be doing that. But I think we have Aqua Tail. Did I see a water move on Agron? For real, it gets a water move? <laughs> well, we got we to gotta find out when we go back into it in a second here, guys. I'm going to start the timer on this guy because it's taking quite a while to decide what to do with his Rhyperior in front of a gold bat. Because it's not brutally obvious, you know. He's got Curse, so he can never touch us, um, in theory. We can just go for Taunt here, lock him in. And then what I'll do is I'll go into Mesprit, because he can't touch that either, because his only attacking move is a ground move, so... I mean, it would make sense if he got rid of my, uh, my Gold Bat and my Mesprit first. He would definitely be a huge threat, but he didn't, so... Let's go for Magic Coat right here. Uh, actually, no, he's taunted. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, let me think here. Psychic's just the correct play every time. Brings in his Grand Bull. The lowered attack doesn't mean anything to me. 46%, very nice, as Grand Bull has pitiful special defense. Uh, I'm actually going to get up... Uh, do I want to do that? You know what? Let's just go back into Gold Bat, honestly. I'm not even going to play games. Uh, he goes for Protect. Again, another Pokemon with Protect for no reason. Uh, we'll go for Brave Bird right here. Weaken something else. Goes back into his Jolteon to take another 30%. Great. Uh, and... Uh, Wait, did I just... What did I lose damage from? Oh, recoil, okay. I was like, is his ro <laughs> Jolteon Rocky Helmet? And I saw the burn, and I'm like, no, wait a minute. That's not it. All right, <laughs> let's go for Roost again. Uh, he's, he goes for the Thunderbolt. He's going to be taking extra damage. And um, that Thunderbolt did quite a bit. I don't want to lose this just yet. I'm going to go into Magmortar. I should be able to take anyone hit from this thing, and then we'll be Scarfed and faster than everything else. So uh, he's going to die to the burn anyway. And then we're just going to go for a move in consequence to what he goes out into. He goes into his Rhyperior. Great. Let's just go for the Hidden Power Grass. Try to knock this thing out with our 348 special attack. As we do, goodbye. And uh, we're going to try to shorten this a little bit because I was trying to keep it to 20 minutes. And his weird sets have caused it to go over that. So uh, Let's go into our Scrafty on this thing. Pretty much can't touch us. Um, part with Gunk Shot. Shadow Claw is going to do 22%, so relatively nothing. And uh, now we're going to go for a knockoff. And if he wants to bring in his Grand Bull, he's going to lose his item, so that's perfectly fine. Here we go. Uh, goodbye item on Grand Bull. Yo, Skype is going crazy right now. Um, 
All right, so we get rid of that thing's rocky helmet, and now we can switch right back into Golbat. With no rocks up, this thing has... Uh, oh, okay, he's, he's got bulk up, guys. Um, <laughs> let's go for the taunt, as his play rough is still going to do absolutely nothing to us. Uh, I can't go for another bulk up after the taunt. I'm going to go for the roost here, bring ourselves back up to full on his play rough, which is still only going to do with a crit, 22%, lovely. Going to go for a brave bird right here. We can pretty much stall this thing out forever. And uh, he forfeits and we win the battle. So we were able to keep it to 20, 20 and a half minutes. So i uh, just like to thank you guys again for watching so much. Uh, I really got to go uh, record something else very, very soon. So uh, sorry this was a little bit shorter than usual. You guys might like that though. So I don't know, leave a comment. Let me know if you prefer shorter episodes, longer episodes. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, follow me on Twitter as well. It keeps you uh, up to date every time a video comes out. You can do that on YouTube too, though. There's this thing called a sub box. So anyway, guys, have a good one. Ciao.